Aloha Kauai. Here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Tuesday, April 21st. The number of total confirmed cases still remains at 21. Of those 21 cases, 19 individuals have either recovered or returned to their home on the mainland. The remaining two active cases are residents, one is in home isolation, and one remains in isolation at a hospital. All but one case has been confirmed to be travel-related. Koi's tally of cases and other information on COVID-19 can be found on the Koi Emergency Management Agency or Kima site at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. To view the total number of positive cases across the state, please visit hawaiicovid19.com. The daily count on this site is updated at noon every day. We have a few important announcements from our partnering agencies today. Yesterday, the IRS announced that for non-filers, or those who are not required to file taxes, if you have dependents to claim, you must submit your information to the IRS by 6 a.m. tomorrow, April 22nd, in order to receive your additional $500 per dependent. Non-filers without dependents are not required to fill out their information by April 22nd for your $1,200 payment. Again, all non-filers must submit your information to the IRS in order to obtain your stimulus check. And if you have dependents, you must file your information by 6 a.m. on Wednesday in order to receive your additional $500 per dependent. To file, go to www.irs.gov forward slash coronavirus and click on the non-filers payment tool to enter your information. If you have filed your taxes and have not yet received your stimulus check, you can check on the status of your payment by going to www.irs.gov forward slash coronavirus and click on check your payment status. The U.S. Department of Agriculture or USDA yesterday announced that it will provide 16 billion in direct payments to farmers and ranchers. However, they are still working out the rulemaking process for that direct payment program. The USDA expects to begin sign up for the new program in early May, which will get payments out to producers by the end of May or early June. We will continue to provide information on this program as we are updated by the USDA. In the meantime, if you're a farmer or a rancher, there is a grant opportunity available now that might apply to your operation. However, you will have to act quickly as the deadline for applying is this Thursday, April 23rd. The American Farmland Trust or AFT Farmer Relief Fund will award farmers and ranchers with cash grants of up to $1,000 each to help them weather the current storm of market disruptions caused by the coronavirus cri crisis. Eligible applicants include any small and mid-sized direct market producers. These are defined as producers with annual gross revenue between 10,000 and 1 million from sales at farmers markets and or direct sales to restaurants, caterers, schools, stores, or makers who use farm pro products as inputs. To apply, visit farmland.org forward slash farmer dash relief dash fund. If you need assistance completing the application, please contact Marty Amaro at the Office of Economic Development and he can assist you. Marty can be reached by phone at 241-4949 or by email at mamaro at kawai.gov. That's m-a-m-a-r-o at kawai.gov. Remember, the deadline is this Thursday, so good luck and get to it. Moving on to announcements from our partners at the state. The Hawaii State Department of Health's WIC program provides healthy foods, services, and breastfeeding support for women who are pregnant or just had a baby, and for children under the age of five. eWIC is now available, which is just like a debit card for you to buy WIC-approved foods at grocery stores. It's fast, flexible, and simple. No more paper checks. To see if you qualify, visit health.hawaii.gov forward slash WIC. That's health.hawaii.gov 
forward slash WIC or call the Lihue office at 241 3080 for an appointment. Hawaii residents confused about whether you qualify for other assistance programs such as food stamps or health care because of the COVID-19 pandemic, you should apply online at humanservices.hawaii.gov. Don't try to figure out what you may or may not qualify to receive as this can be complicated. Instead, the department recommends that you just apply and officials will help you to determine what you are eligible to receive. Again, apply online at humanservices.hawaii.gov. As a final reminder, the Department of Education free grab-and-go meals program for Keiki 18 years and younger on Kauai. Participating schools include Kekaha Elementary, Koloa Elementary, Chiefess Kamakahele Middle School, Kapa'a High School, and Waimea High School. And we are excited to announce that Kiloea Elementary School will start participating in the grab-and-go meal program on Monday, April 27th. Breakfast pickup is from 7.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. and lunch is from 11.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Mahalo Kauai for such a great job taking care of each other. Let's continue to stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, keep a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask. Do not leave home if you're sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. We're gonna get through this Koi, stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly for more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Kauai, we can do this. Hang in there. Take care of one another. God bless and aloha.